29. Yeah, looking at the replay there, I think you're right, Phil, and also hampered over that red, wasn't he? Now, uh, slow down. Well, wow. oh, that's some shot from Neil there. A realistic frame winning chance now. And it is really a case of one shot, one frame at a time when you're in this position. The other one, that's the ideal place to open the reds up. Nice hit it very well there. Very well, to hold back two balls, that was deliberate. Yeah, stunned it rather than screwed it. Got a chance now. What's it? At the top here, touch a left hand side. Yeah, well played. Yeah, good play it well. Generates a lot of speed. At least you know when you play this shot off the cushion, the cue ball is going to stay in amongst the reds. Sometimes you play the screw shot, you can't avoid the cue ball coming back towards the black 16. cushion. Well, with that first oh. hand, that was stunning. Exceptional shot, but I think he's screwing it in this time. Not you're going to use the pack. Oh, so he used the pack. He's got his tail up at the moment. Oh, that's a little unlucky. This could be really good if we can hit the red and not the pink in playing this uh, cannon. He's come a little bit too low, but he's got the bunch, but still both black and pink out of play. Yeah, it's funny how different players Frank. go about it in different ways. I certainly thought he would have played for the blue there, but he, he did play for the yellow, and it's worked out nicely. Well, Marco relied on... We a little bit of key power there, and uh, Hoke has great shot to pot it. A little bit fortunate to get the second kiss, as you'll see in a few moments' time. Well, we've got the cannon this time. Five. Pocket. Well, Sean went <laughs> into him, couldn't have hit that pink better. And he's got his just deserves. Six. This is how you break the balls up. Look at look how he hits the pink. Full in the face. And that holds the cue ball in the middle of the table. Well, that's okay. That's all right. Perfectly legitimate. Bounced over Perfectly. all of the pack. As long as you don't bounce over the object ball, he's potted the red. His object ball here is the red. Once he doesn't bounce over that object ball, he can bounce over any other ball on the table. I'm surprised that went like that, because he wasn't actually queuing you know, down the ball, was he? It was, uh, it was weird the way that took off. 36. Amazing. But he's in prime position still. Still got three or four loose reds. So, uh, attention, all pockets, because this red's going to fly all over the table here. Yeah. 
And that's pretty good, I can tell you. <laughs> Look, he's managed that the black's not even moved. The black's still available. So that is a bonus. Make sure that when he plays this, if he's playing the top spin, he needs to land on the black. Great shot. Not always easy to judge, though. If you've got to not only get the right weight there, you've got to judge the cannon you're going to get. Couldn't play that any better. Well, you just don't hit it better than that, I'm afraid. The beauty of that shot, hitting it that well, is it's kept the cue ball in the middle of the table. The downside is what's happened to the black and the pink. Might be able to play it here on the yellow, two cushions. Fabulous shot, once again. Three. Well, what a shot he's played there. How many players 13. would have even thought of playing that? It looked like he was playing into the reds. He was playing to free the pink and black. Got a good line. How's your look? How's your look? It's not bad. It's not bad. He's given himself a chance. But remember, it's a designing frame. There's pressure on every ball. Well, he couldn't hit this any better, could he? No, he's absolutely superb. But he's going through with them with top spin. Well, I know he's thinking about it. Oh. I think 41. that will do. Did that go in? He split the reds, that's for sure. And well, it didn't it didn't actually move the pink till then. Incredible. Stephen and he couldn't have hit it any better and when you're playing well this is the sort of thing that happens a red over either corner pocket deserved it but he's very clever in these positions is Ding Jun Wei as good as anyone yeah look at that just look to absolute perfection I've always been ever since I first saw him play his touch in and around the pink and black He's as good as anyone I've seen. He's a wonderful break builder. And that was an example of his class. Trump and his fans because he came out so positive, so aggressive after the break. That is a beautiful yeah. shot, really well controlled. Certainly a big help that the green is away from its spot because you could go over the path of the green spot here and go in all the way around the table. This is very good as well. Oh, yes. Can he's played that nicely. Eight. Nine. Oh, another... Clever shot. 
purposely screwing off the cluster he's bringing plenty of reds into play now he's potted some great balls but he's not made the most of his opportunities well decided to play that to bring other reds into play and he's okay he's landed on the pink just dropped the pink in cannon the blue Brown could come off the side cushion and smash into the reds Needs a bit of luck, he's got it and he's released the black. Five. Couldn't have hit them better and release the black was a bonus. Six. <coughs> no, missed that. Hang on, calling all pockets. He nearly got three reds there. <laughs> run the risk of knocking Eight. a ball in and he nearly did it again there with the right to the middle that, that would have been so unlucky this is not guaranteed <laughs> oh. <laughs> did that go in Phil by the way well wow. it was one of those sh one of those shots where you were Happy that your finger wasn't on the, the back of the pocket at the time. <laughs> yeah. He's hit it too well. Look where he's finished. Oh, well, you don't often see that where a player goes into the pack of reds from a red. But, well, is he on a colour? He's on the pink to the middle. It was on every colour a moment ago and then reds came and blocked pockets if he pots this red he Left. could have worked in his favor this is a big shot wow what a shot that was where's the cue ball going Ooh. So. it's funny how judd plays those i mean i can't think of anyone else there that would have played the run through 